Today we're talking about personification. Now before I explain what personification is, take a look at the root word and see if you might be able to figure out what it means. I'm talking about this part, person. Hello. Personification is a type of figurative language that gives human-like qualities to non-human things. In other words, it's a way for writers to describe objects by giving them qualities that people would have. Let's look at some examples. In this example, the writer says, The book spoke to my heart. Now obviously this is not supposed to be taken literally, as books don't often speak to us. But we can see that the writer is using figurative language to describe how touching the book was to him. So when he says the book spoke to his heart, he's using personification to explain how touching that book was. Here's another example. The lemon juice attacked my taste buds. Do you recognize the personification? Yes, attack. That's something a person would do. So by saying the lemon juice attacked his taste buds, the author is really saying the juice is sour. But you must agree saying the lemon juice attacked my taste buds is a much more interesting thing to say than the lemon juice was sour. Let's look at another example. The sea was nice and calm. Do you see the personification here? There it is. Nice and calm are typically personality traits that we use to describe people. And here, it's being used to personify the sea. Personification can be used to describe intangible objects, ideas, or feelings also. Here's an example. My love grows stronger every day. Do you recognize the personification? There it is, grow stronger. Personification is often used in poetry. Poets love to use it because it makes their poems deeper and more interesting to read. Here's an example. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. That's from William Wordsworth, I wandered lonely as a cloud. Do you recognize the personification? I see it in a couple places. First, in the first line, I saw a crowd. What do we normally think of when we talk about a crowd? A crowd of people. How about this, fluttering and dancing in the breeze? Well, dancing is something that a person normally does. And here he uses it to describe the movement of the flowers and the breeze. Quite beautiful, don't you think? And here we are, back at the definition. Personification. It's figurative language that gives human-like qualities to non-human things. It's a literary device used to add new perspective, to make your text more interesting to read, and it's a great way to bring your writing to life.